<laughs> so today I met the crew from a band called Levistance. Yeah, I mean his <laughs> We traveled over to Pyeongchang and we started with some amazing food. Let's try. How is it? Good. <laughs> After some dramatic twirling, we took a cable car ride up to the top of a mountain. This place is actually where the Winter Olympics were held and it was so beautiful. We are... Um... We are a next generation worship team uh, in the Cross Church and uh, we have a YouTube channel so you can uh, search La Vistance. Yeah, link right here, somewhere <laughs> around here. Okay. And my name is Daniel Kim and um, I'm a worship leader and vocal. My favorite Korean food is Korean style barbecue. My name is Niall. I am worship leader and singer in La Vistance. My favorite food is Korean style barbecue with gennip. <laughs> you should try it. My name is Pearl. Um, I'm filming and edit editing in La Vistance. And my favorite food is tteokbokki. My name is Jinu. Uh, I'm bass player. Uh, my favorite food is chicken. Yeah. We love you. Bless you. Thank you. you. We love Jonathan <laughs> Optin. <laughs> Thank you for coming, Jonathan. So these guys were just the best people and um, had such a great time with them. And we went over to the location of K-Hop, Korea House of Prayer, where we led a little worship time together. And I got to just speak to some of the team and you know, we got to know each other a little more over some food. Also, if you want to see the worship session we recorded, you can watch the whole thing on YouTube. I will put a link to it in the description, it's on K-Hop's channel. But this site is honestly amazing. This whole kind of residential area where almost 80 people live out there um, just to kind of serve at the house of prayer and be a part of that community. I also got the chance to visit the new location where K-Hop is going to be moving to eventually, which was just incredible. Such an amazing space. and. Amazing to see that they've been able to uh, get this place for their ministry, so it's going to be awesome. The next day we travelled back to Seoul, I checked into my hotel and opened some gifts from the K-Hop and Levistance crew. Okay, this is one of the coolest packages I've seen, especially for a worship album. I've not seen packaging like this before. It's got like all the photos in and the track list and the lyrics and the way that the CDs in like the tray all the details on the back and you guys are so cool also <sighs> stickers as well <gasps> the David's Tent t-shirt that's really nice thank you K-Hop you guys are amazing and some postcards after opening all the wonderful gifts it was time to head back to the city What's up YouTube? I'm here with my friend Joel, a fellow British man, Englishman in Korea. <laughs> Hello everyone. Yeah, I came to Korea uh, five years ago. I came here to start a YouTube channel called Dan and Joel. Um, yeah, we've been making content ever since and uh, we came out here and felt God really encouraging us just to kind of spend time in the mornings reading the Bible. Um, and then we started to, I guess, gather people around that. People started to meet, meet Jesus through that. And uh, a few years later, we ended up planting a church to be able to serve Jesus here, um, to walk with him here is just, it's been one of the most uh, most amazing blessings ever. <laughs> what is your favorite thing about Korea? My favorite thing about Korea? I think the, the top three it always comes down to is food, people, and culture. Mm. So that basically covers everything. Nice. Um, but the food is 
unbelievable. <laughs> the people are just so kind. People know how to, to make you feel a part of something, you know, mm. bring you into the group. And then culturally, it's just, it's so different. It's, it's just so different. Even uh, like being out here and like learning the language challenges the, the way that I think and the way that I respond to people. Kind of liberates me of some kind of British, Britishness sometimes where I have to, when I first came out here, I was trying to apologize for everything, I, you know, before I said something as if everything was a burden to everyone. Lovely. Can confirm food here is great. And I think we're on the way to get some pretty soon. So yeah, man. here we go. So after a really fun day exploring the city with Joel and his friend Yunsim, uh, we went to this tea place, which was honestly one of my highlights of the whole trip so far. This place was so aesthetic, beautifully designed, and the tea was really good. And they kind of give you this leaf thing where you can like pour the tea through it and kind of make it a bit stronger or like keep pouring more cups. And uh, it was just so beautiful. We even got a chance to have a little Bible study there, which is great. And then uh, we kept exploring some more places. And I said it last time, but literally, Seoul is Pinterest in real life. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I ended the day by taking a visit to see my friend Jung Soo, who was playing a little concert showcase of some of his kind of Christian hip hop music, um, which was really awesome. So it was great to be there for that as well. That's part two of my trip to Korea. So I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>